Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka. You've clicked on the Weather Now link on a windy, cold Thursday afternoon. Looking at Providence at about 3.30. You can actually see the white caps on the Providence River. We've had gusts up to 40 miles per hour at wind chills in the 20s. It's been a, a much colder day. Uh, these temps, as of the 3 o'clock, almost 4 o'clock hour, only running in the upper 30s to around 40. Should be closer to 50 uh, this time of year. As we take a look... At our threat tracker, you know, just kind of a graphical look as far as, you know, giving you a heads up with any high impact weather on the way. It's uh, quiet for Friday. Now it's cold. In fact, especially early in the morning at sunrise, it's going to start off at 23, but bright sunshine and less wind. It should feel a lot better during the afternoon hours. We have rain and wind. Storm system is likely on Saturday. Heavy rain, inch and a half to nearly three inches of rain. We'll have to keep an eye on the possibility of some flooding. Right now, the heaviest rain appears to be well, light in the morning, heavier during the afternoon and evening, and we'll bring back some dry weather coming up on Sunday. So skies are clear, gusty wind behind uh, an intensifying storm, which is way up across uh, up here in the Canadian Maritimes. These gusty northwest winds driving in cold and some dry air. When we take a look at the forecast uh, over the next uh, couple of days and watch the time bar right up in here, we'll take you through the, uh, the overnight and into early uh, Friday morning. This is around 7 a.m. Look at that temperature, only 23, 24 degrees with sunshine. Now, the afternoon is better, even though these temperatures are still chilly on Friday. With less wind, it'll it'll feel better, and at least it's dry. And we're going to keep the dry weather, <clears throat> excuse me, right through Friday night. If you have plans to be out Friday night, it looks fine. And then as we widen out the view, we see um, this coastal storm off the mid-Atlantic uh, headed our way. Here we are Saturday morning initially uh, light rain developing but you see the heavier rain out towards the mid-atlantic and this is approaching during uh, saturday afternoon and into saturday evening here we are at about eight nine o'clock with some strong wind and some downpours and then take note the drier air behind the storm that'll actually arrive on sunday so when we get to sunday morning at around 8 a.m you see the bulk of the precipitation is well offshore may have some clouds lingering early in the morning especially along the south shore but seeing some brightening on Sunday afternoon and essentially breezy, dry and cool for your Sunday. While ski country, it is not over yet. This storm system will produce quite a bit of snow. Mainly it's confined in the mountain areas of upstate New York, uh, v Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. This strip of orange right in here, the potential for one to two feet of snow uh, Saturday and into Sunday morning. Notice nothing here in southern New England. It is all rain for Saturday. As far as rainfall amounts, uh, potential is there for one and a half to three inches of rain. Where exactly that the maximum axis of rain sets up uh, remains to be seen. This may shift left or right, so check back with us. But generally, a widespread soaking of rain is likely. And some strong wind as well. This is Saturday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, wind is picking up. But notice by Saturday afternoon and early evening, uh, really ramping up. This is Saturday night at around 8 o'clock. These areas in purple gusting out of the south and southeast. 40, perhaps even 50 miles per hour. As we jump ahead to Saturday night at 11 o'clock, that area of purple from roughly Narragansett out of towards southeast of Mass right in here. Still getting gusts between about 40 and 50 miles per hour. Then later Saturday night, uh, that wind will gradually uh, diminish. All right, we start this evening <clears throat> with 7 o'clock sunsets. I like that. All right, clear skies, breezy, cold, 11 o'clock, 28. It is frigid. On Friday morning uh, at around 7 a.m., 23, 24 degrees. Sunshine gets to work. Uh, yeah, temperatures moderate, but still running almost 10 degrees below average. But again, with less wind, if you can find a spot in the sunshine tomorrow out of the breeze, it'll actually feel pretty nice, even though these temperatures are rather cool for this time of year. Your Friday night is dry. We bring in that heavy rain and wind on Saturday, then back to dry, breezy, cool weather on Sunday.